Arc Load Sling from Kufaru versus the new Manimal. I wanna break down both and put them on the arc frame itself, show you how to do that. Whitetail Hunters, last December, 2023. I just got all these back, so that's why I'm flexing. This is my Washington public land buck. This is a management deer down in Texas at a ranch. This was the first buck. We got good slow-mo of arrow in this one. We'll show you right now. I was able to get one more management buck on that hunt. We got you some slow-mo arrow flight of this one as well. I love whitetail hunting. I'm gonna tell you about the manimal, and here's what I like about it, because I've been running the shape charge for years for my whitetail setup, but the manimal is gonna be a good pack for those that maybe hunt out west as well. Pronghorn, mule deer, probably not elk and moose, but if you're hunting deer out west and you need a pack to do it all, the manimal is something that you're gonna to wanna to consider. Levi Morgan and Aaron teamed up to make this, so it's a collab. I'm gonna break it down, plus this arc load sling is awesome. This is exclusive to the arc frame, so it'll only be compatible on this. This is a great little feature, it's 50 bucks. If you're a shed hunter or you're a pack mule and you get the call to help haul meat or you're hauling horns, this is gonna be a good option. Let's put this one on first. You have these 45 degree angles, horizontals, and then through the bottom. So let's look at this first part. It's a girth hitch, feed it through, clip it in. Rinse and repeat on this side. All right, so we have this. Now we're gonna go at a 45, take this out, feed it through your girth hitch, cinch that in, loop it back through. Then you take your three bar slider. You guys can see this little guy right here. I'm gonna undo my lumbar and I'm gonna feed the three bar slider in and it'll tee off in the back. So we'll do it again on this side. So I'm gonna take this, feed it in through the bottom, make sure it tees off. Then we're gonna get our lumbar pad back on there. You have options here depending on the size of the load. But like where I see this shining is if you're literally looking to set your arc frame up for ruck training. 50% of our programming has to do with either heavy packs, all your ruck training. This would be what I'm gonna run this summer for my training. Conversely, if you got an animal down and you get your first load out and you're back at the truck, you could take your bag off and throw this on. Probably be easier depending on what the size of the quarter or quarters if you're balling out so big. So lots of adjustability. This is horizontal. So right now I'm gonna run it through the bottom. That could definitely change depending on the size of the load. Get your middle attachment here, cinch it down. And then you have your 45 degree angle here and here. So it looks like this. Add the arc load sling. It is honestly a no brainer for shed hunting, maybe hauling in tree stands, or you got your big bull down on the ground. You got the rear quarter back to the truck. You can take your hood limb or your bed limb off of the frame and throw this on and go pack out the rest of the meat. Pretty streamlined, straightforward. I think this is a great design and it takes up no weight. You could put it in inside your pack at the bottom. Super easy to add and adjust. Well thought out. This is a good attachment. This will be on my pack all summer long when I'm doing my scouting trips. If I'm hauling in tree stands and ladders or, you know, hopefully picking up some big brown gold this spring. This is a great feature from Kufaro. Now let's break down the pack that can kind of do it all for all sorts of deer, whitetail, mule deer, pronghorn, the manimal. Let's break it down and get it on the frame as well. So here it is. This is the manimal. It's kind of got two parts to it. This is the cinch. And then you have your main bag here, full size load sling. And I'm gonna show you how easy it is to set that up where you can put your animal or quarters here and hug that back up against the frame. And I will put this on the arc frame for y'all. And uh, the cinch bag has access both sides. So you can get at it from this side or that side. You have molly to add pockets, pretty straightforward. This does not get you into here. So this is its own little separate secret stash. Once you pop this off, and this is kind of that Western application, if you are mule deer hunting out west and you're like, I'm gonna go make my final approach on that bedded buck, I need a knife, I need a protein bar, a game bag, and a bottle of water, I'm going in. This can also double as a backpack. Then you have this guy right here, which gives me a shape charge vibe, which is what I ran for whitetail in the past. So you have your accessories here, and then you can get at whatever you need to here or 
you can unzip. Here's my hand from this side. So anything you need to get to, or you can close this off and fold it here and be neat and organized and get whatever you need. You can still run a four liter bladder in here. I never run bladders, but man, this is a cool stash for your kill kit and your Kefaru hunt wallet with all your tags in it, what have you. And then you have access into the main compartment. And the main compartment, I think we got 2200 plus 700 ish cubic inches. You're dealing with a lot, like just right around 3K. That's a lot of cubic inches to cover you for even an overnight if you needed to. And then you can put tripods or trekking poles on this side and in that side. And again, that long load sling, which is going to be super handy for packing meat out. And when it comes to deer, you probably can almost do a rear and a front. Maybe put your cape, sandwich the cape and rack here. You got over half the deer out. Come back, throw loose meat, the other rear and front shoulder. And two trips, you got your deer out, cape, everything. Pretty much good to go. Let's go ahead and put it on the arc frame. We're going to go one of these deals. Load lifter. This is the new clip. Three bars right through this gap, even with this one, both sides. It comes down just past the lumbar pad. And then like all Kufaru packs, we're gonna feed this through here, back through, and cinch. Rinse and repeat. And then from here, I cheated, got the K-clips on. Final review of this pack is it's like a shape charge, but it includes the cinch, which also works as a final approach. It's got all the organization and enough real estate for not only out west mule deer, pronghorn, and even mountain whitetails, but you could use it as your typical whitetail backpack with all your goodies and snacks and calls and layers, things that you would take whitetail hunting. The thing I like about it the most is like you can actually pack meat out pretty easily. I know I killed a couple of whitetail this year that were very far from the road. There was no way to drag it out. And so you're looking at really maximizing the carrying capacity. I think right here is a great spot to put a hide and a head or possibly a shoulder. And then you can also pull this whole pack away from the frame and use the load sling. Let's finish the video there. So all you're going to simply do to do that is you're going to unclip this bottom part. You're going to loosen these up quite a bit. The reason why I'm doing that is you need enough room to pull the top part off. So you'll have to undo these. You're going to have a load sling here that you can deal with. And you can adjust this to go all the way up to here, depending on by using just a three bar. I'm going to adjust it for you guys right now. And you can set the height depending on your load, something like this. Easily go in. Then you can put your meat up against the frame and you can take the bag here. And it looks like you have horizontal straps that tie, two horizontal straps that tie to the cinch and two that tie to the main bag. So that's gonna give you a lot of adjustability to get this whatever to suit a elk quarter, a moose quarter, a deer quarter. Probably wouldn't wanna use an elk quarter on this bag, but you could. And then you can stuff things in between here, move your gear around so that you're productive and packing out. Long video guys, but I really wanted to break down the Manimal as a solid option for out west deer hunters and then pronghorn hunters and bear hunters and things like that where you're pulling out meat and hide and horns and claws, things like that. The arc load sling is gonna be a go-to on those second trips when you get an elk down. You can pull your bed limb, your KU 4300, you can pull the hoodlum off the frame, put that sling on, go get the rest of your meat horn hunting, hauling in tree stands. Kufaro's hitting out of the park. I'm really digging this light frame, carbon, made in Utah. Kufaro International, one of our favorite partners to work with. I hope this video helped you out. I hope you learned the different offerings. Comment below, are you interested in the Manimal? I know a lot of guys are, and I think it's going to be a home run for a lot of crossover hunters. Separations in the preparation. We'll catch you on the next one.